to run java in fedora what we need to do we will be creating a text file called hello fedora.java a java file and we will be writing a simple java program like this then what we want to do we will be opening this particular folder in the terminal and we can write java c to compile java compiler and pass our file there so after compilation as you can see it already created the java uh, class hello fedora dot class object file and from here we can run java and tab then it will take automatically take the object file so if we run now we can see that our program is running fine so this is how we are going to run java from fedora now we are going to run c program in fedora so for that again we will be going to a terminal from this folder and we will be writing gcc hello world dot c output as hello world and we will compile after compiling we are able to see the object file hello fedora so to run this we just need to write dot slash space and we can able to see that the program got ran and we are seeing the result hello fedora got printed this time running a c++ program in fedora so for that also navigate to the specific folder in terminal or we can directly open terminal from the current folder type this command so for c++ we will be using g++ compiler so let's write the same thing and output as hello world object file as you can see the object file already got created into the folder and to run the program we will just do a dot slash hello fedora and we are getting the result now i will be running the python program hello fedora so to run this i will be using a virtual environment so first let's create the virtual environment in the current directory for that we will be writing python hyphen m three env and my virtual environment i will give the name my virtual environment let's create the virtual environment and it got created so let's activate it by going inside the beam and activate now as you can see we are inside the virtual environment so from here we will be running python python hello fedora and we are seeing the result you can also see inside this virtual environment which packages are installed so we are seeing only the pip is installed into this virtual environment and we can also upgrade the pip and it got installed so if i do a pip list now it will show me the latest version of the pip and to get out of this virtual environment what we can do we can write deactivate and enter and we got out of our virtual environment